A no index tag is a tag that you place on pages of your website that you don't want to rank in search engines. So for the most part, when you're creating a website, you want all of the pages of your site, or at least the vast majority of the pages of your site to rank in search engines. But there are times when you don't want certain pages to show up. So when you're um, thinking about which pages of your site you want to rank or don't want to rank, here's a couple guidelines to follow. The type of pages that you do not want to rank in search, so these would be pages that you do place the no index tag on, would be things like your thank you page. So when you fill out a form, for example, and you're done with the form, you hit submit and you find a, or you're uh, redirected to a page that says, you know, thank you for filling out your form. If this page ranked in the search engines, that would first of all be bad user experience because you know, they're receiving a page that says thank you for doing something they didn't do, and by it would also trigger visits to that page so that if you're tracking that page, um, it could actually create like a false um, number of form completions or false number of conversions because people are viewing a page that they did not have to fill out a form in order to see. So we want to place a no index tag on a thank you page. You also want to place no index tags on landing pages that are used for advertising or email campaigns. So these are pages that we would call orphaned pages or pages that you cannot find by clicking any links within your website. They're pages that sort of live on their own, um, sort of outside of the, the structure of your website and they can only be found by someone clicking on an ad or on an email. So again, we don't want these to show up in search because we only want people to see them if they clicked on an ad or if they clicked on a link in an email. Another type of page that you might want to place a no index tag on are pages that are meant for internal use only. So maybe you have like employee only pages or pages that you only want to share internally uh, and you don't want the rest of the world to see. So anything that you don't want people to see, um, you know, through the search engines, you would place that tag on. So this might be something like um, an employee login page to a certain uh, section of your site. It might be certain, you know, employee, um, you know, links to employee handbooks that are kept online or internal resources or something like that. Just basically anything that you want, don't want to appear in search. Another type of page you want to put a no index tag on is your 404 error page. So your 404 error page is a page that will show up when someone uh, goes to um, a URL or an address of your website that's not valid. So there's not actually like they request a page but it doesn't actually exist. And so they get what's called a 404 error page. You want to make sure the no index tag is on that page as well because again you don't want somebody to actually get an error page as a search result. So uh, logically just think about the process of, of um, you know, how users are going to go to the search engines and find your site and any page on your site that you don't want them to find through search, this is where you would put a no index tag. So what does a no index tag look like? Here's an example of what a no index tag looks like. You would put this code in what's called the head section of your page and this is actually a, a support page from Google kind of explaining how to do it. So if you have access to the code of your site or if you can uh, have it, if you have a developer or a technical team or a server admin that has access to your site that knows how to add code to the head content, then you can have um, you can either do this or have them do this. Make sure you're adding it at the page level though. Don't add it into like a template in WordPress where it's going to apply it across all of the pages of your site. Be very careful to only add it at the page level. If your site is on WordPress and you have the Yoast SEO plugin, then there's a very easy way for you to add the no index tag to your pages without having to touch the code. You'll look for the Yoast SEO uh, section inside of the page. So you'll want to go to the page level. And then what you want to do is check on the advanced settings. And this is where it says allow search engines to show this page in search results. And you can say no, this will only do this on the at the page level and then you would click update. And then that's really all you have to do. And then when you actually go to that page, you'll see that the code has been added there. So I'm going to go ahead and view the page. And then we're going to look at the source code of the page. And then usually it's going to be somewhere here at the top. I see it right here, which is exactly uh, what we want it to look like. And so it's all good.
So just keep in mind that the no index tag is there to help you prevent pages of your site from not appearing in search engine results. So follow these guidelines for the types of pages that you want to no index and this will help improve the user experience overall.